Nah, you you the star of the show tonight. It's all good. Listen, I'm the star all the time, baby boy. You You already know. So what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's your man, Just Jay Sama, back again with the most unnecessary uh, entertainment commentary podcast known as Canon Culture. I'm here with uh, some extra special guests today. Um, We got uh, DJ, of course. Everybody knows. Our our resident janitor. Uh, My man, Deacon, who decided to show up as a VTuber today. So we enjoy that. Uh, Plank, of course, you know, hanging out in the background. What's up, Plank? And then uh, we have two special guests. My man Rencho, he's a longtime friend. Uh, uh, he's playing Apex right now, so if you hear him scream at white people or say something racist, that's not a depiction on anybody in the podcast except for me and him, because uh, we most likely agree on the same thing. And then we, of course, we got my man Super Triple J E T in the building. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Yeah, it. Yes, uh, it was yes, yes, great, yes, bro. How you yes. doing, fam? Um, honestly, today is a day we got a lot of stuff to talk about, but. Before we get into that, uh, everybody knows, make sure if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're on Spotify, make sure to subscribe. If you're on iTunes, make sure to give it five stars, yada, 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 yada. If you're watching the video version, of course, you get to see my lovely face and Deacon's VTuber, but everybody else was too, too, uh, you know, pussy to turn on the cams today. Well, so, hold you know, on. there's I don't that. Know about that. You want me to turn on cameras? No, not you. You the racist. Dude, you're going to get it. Yeah, no. We're going to get the felony. You, yeah, you're going to get me banned, sir, because you got swap no. in the back. Ground. You ain't even supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's your fault, DJ. You didn't oh, lock the door. Yeah, honestly, DJ, you left the door I open. I didn't know man. it was a requirement. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, next thing you know, one of your homies going to slip up in here. And we'd be like, who the fuck is this? Who the like, fuck is So, anyway, um, let me see. First of all, who messaged me anything? Oh, somebody must need something. <laughs> Somebody must need some. I looked at my Instagram DMs and I saw a, I saw somebody uh, that I haven't seen in years in there, and uh, they must need something. <laughs> they must <Uh-oh>. need something. <laughs> well, how can we help them? What advice do they need? Honestly, okay, ladies and gentlemen, you you know how it is. Ever since uh, what was it last week? Week before last, we start the podcast doing a little Q and A. Um, thank you guys to everyone who responded, both Twitter and Instagram. If you guys need all of that information, it'll be linked down in the description below. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we've gotten four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people asking thoughts on the Zack Snyder cut. So, didn't watch it. Um, I know you didn't. HBO Max. Deacon bro. doesn't watch anything, bro. I don't watch DC movies. De- Deacon doesn't watch oh, anything because you just watch YouTube in the same. Now DC, years. no DC animated shows. Uh, this I would have been the first. This to man see. will watch six, seven Scott the Waz videos before he'll even consider watching a Batman movie. Oh, mm. <laughs> crazy. Absolutely crazy. And then um, DJ didn't get a chance to watch it either. So um, it sounds like me, Plank, and Super having a conversation. So, uh, All right, then Take then. it away, Jets. All right. Well, um, Super Jet, what'd you think of the movie, man? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I was actually impressed how the movie was. Uh, look, I honestly you thought You mean to tell like... me a racist <laughs> was impressed? What? Why are you racist? What? <laughs> What? Hey, hey man, hey look, the streets been talking, bro. It's true. The streets have been talking. Yo, that's what? crazy. Oh, okay, mm. what? So what did I you like about the morning, movie? Super. <laughs> well, I was gonna say I was impressed just because I thought this movie was gonna be like comparable to Batman v Superman. You know, like even though I enjoyed that movie, it was still had a lot of problems. But for some reason, this was oh, just... you enjoy garbage. I see, bro. You know me for years, bro. Come on, man. You sure really know? Oh, right? My head is still twelve. His, so his I don't favorite. Know. His favorite. <laughs> Last time I checked, his favorite character still is Sakura. So I mean, you know, yeah, well, who I, listen, who I will say is not the most useless person in Naruto, but that's a different conversation for a different day. Uh, Super, sweet. what was your favorite aspect of the movie? Would you say? Okay, well, I'm kind of glad that I, I was actually impressed how the characters changed. Like they weren't acting so slapstick; they're acting more serious, and I was just actually shocked, especially for like Barry Allen, how. He was taking the situation more seriously than the 2017 version. So I was actually very impressed at how he was, you know, acting and acting like an idiot the entire time. And the whole, well, you know, no, spoilers don't, spoilers not a big deal, right? Um, I mean, if you didn't see the movie, you didn't see the movie, man. Uh, uh, Richard, okay. The, the whole <laughs> DJ, do of- you care? No. Uh, Nah, go ahead, bro. Forget it. I mean, you can walk away for this segment. We'll we'll call you back in two minutes. It's fine. Yeah, the heads okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll walk away. I'll walk away. Yeah, yeah, walk for away. sure. Come back in two minutes. All right. Okay. All right. See if you got two minutes. Go. All right. And the whole how they showed the speed force at the towards the end of the movie. Ooh, uh, I loved it. I mean, anything that 
was impressed as well. I don't know. I just overall, overall I really enjoyed it. Hmm. Plank, you didn't like it, right? Yeah, I didn't like the movie. Why, what, what was, uh, aside from the, I mean, go ahead, go ahead. Let me hear what you got to say. I don't know, man. Something about sitting there for three hours waiting for the, the plot to actually come to something is, you know, that might be a little too much. But that one hour when they got, when they finally hit the plot, that shit was fire. Man, I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that. That last hour was heat. The last no, hour no of the cap. movie, where it started to pick up, and um, DJ, you can come back by the way. Uh, that last hour <laughs> of the movie, when 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 the homies started breaking off uh, ass whoopings left and right, that shit was woo wee. That shit was that shit was clean. If yeah, that it epilogue made, was garbage though. Yeah, no, nah, 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 it, it was like an hour long of just like post credit scenes and stuff that kind of I just didn't care for. It felt like watching a four hour like like hand job. Like getting a four hour Ooh. hand job with no end. Like oh. you just didn't get a chance to finish. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like it reached oh, peaks of like, ooh, ooh, I'm almost there. But then it's just like there you realize there's no payoff because there's no continuation for the uh Snyderverse. So it's not like no, there's no cum in your pants at that point. Yeah, there's no cum in your pants at that point. So now you kinda, you know, you just uncomfortable and wet and like moist. Oh Jesus, you know? what not, not I'm too. It's Ooh. not <laughs> <laughs> So oh, I mean, it's not really. Yeah, it's not really. I mean, it wasn't it. It wasn't it. Um, but I really enjoyed Superman beating the shit out of people. I thought that was really dope. Uh, I enjoyed a lot of my favorite aspect, and this is not a spoiler. My favorite aspect is the uh, whew, making my man Ray Fisher the star of the show. Cyborg is mm, is. Yeah, I I knew from the original cut. First of all, fuck Joss Whedon. Okay. Uh, 100%. That man is wrong for the shit that went, went uh, that was in this movie. They finally let a black man shine, bro. He was shining the whole movie, and I, I absolutely loved it. I need to I need to see it again just for a second. The whole movie. He pretty much the movie. Yeah, it's Cyborg featuring the Justice League. That's really what it is. Ooh. And um, yeah, that nigga is. Yeah, it's he is that nigga Robert the whole Hulk. movie. So. Yeah. You know, he's the only one with any uh, personal emotional attachments to anything going on in the story, too. So that was kind mm -hmm. of like really refreshing to see for uh, a dark DC movie. Yeah, um, he needs his own movie. Yeah, he really does. The fact that he's not going to get his own movie is pretty upsetting. Uh, but who knows? Things can change. Uh, WB may, may change their mind about how they decide to do things, but I sincerely doubt it because all wb does is yeah kind of uh, kind of fuck shit up so never pull away you know. people get a yeah. good director um yeah true 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 um true. let's see um wow why did i get so many uh questions about this uh let's actually jump we're gonna jump ahead to one of darts but then we'll go back to this other one um thoughts and opinions on the playstation 3 vita store and psp store closing down in july was bound to happen for real yeah. yeah, I was I was just talking about this last week, and I was like, "Yo, I need to start collecting these games because at one, at, I know at some point they're gonna turn the store off. Like mm -hmm. it's it's just Shit. it's inevitable." So um, I mean, I can't get my downloaded games no more. That I already download them now. Yeah, you have to download them now. Uh, it's rumored that uh, they're not gonna leave the service on for you to download games that you've already purchased. Um, but you will be able to access games that you've already downloaded and that are on your system. So, Shit. I uh, listen. I'm, I'm not surprised. I don't think they should be like they should be locking people out of their money like that. Like people. Pay. Um. Well, you don't. That's how they get around it. Is you don't buy the games. You're leasing them. Mm -hmm. So they can pull like when they pulled um, Scott Pilgrim versus the World, and everyone was like, "Oh fuck, I can't redownload it." Well, I mean, at the end of the day. That's what you're agreeing to when you buy from their store. That's also uh, why every platform that is uh, jailbreakable, I jailbreak. Because this is inevitable. And uh, that's going to be the only way you can play these games now if you don't have them. Yeah, not only that, it's... Uh... Oh, I got to I gotta mute this. Uh, thank you for the resub, Argo. Um, <laughs> uh, not only that, it's, it's part of their TOS. Um, kind of like when you go into a store and you buy digital products. And they're like, hey, you know, this is non 
refundable and that at any point, any time, if this is no longer available, that's not, we're not like liable for it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so mm. a lot of times that'll happen. And I, I always had a feeling based off of the way PlayStation was handling PlayStation now and how they're just like, yeah, we're not really like remastering PS2 games. We don't really want you guys playing PS1 games and anything like that. It's kind of like telling for, for Sony in particular. Uh, so it makes sense. And so yeah. for like, like the past it. maybe few months, I had been collecting physical copies of games. So it's just, I don't know. I mean, worst case scenario, I could get me like a five, six, seven, eight terabyte drive and download every single game I have in my PlayStation Store library, both PSP, Vita, and PlayStation 3, and then just use it when I need it. Uh, there is a content manager application for the PSP and the Vita that you can use on your PC. And then you can also play your uh, PSP games, but not your Vita games on your PC. Um, so there's that. Uh, I don't know what to expect, though. I I wasn't I wasn't uh, shocked. It's gonna die. But yeah, I mean, it honestly it hurts me personally because it feels like as a consumer, I really want to give, I really want to give this company my money, but they won't take it. If that makes any sense. And I remember being Deacon. Uh, what was it last week? We were talking about backwards compatibility for Nintendo and how like you know they have Skyward Sword and like all these other games coming out that are you know classic games. But yeah. charging full game prices for them, you know, like these are games that have already been out. That's like Bethesda fucking charging sixty dollars for Skyrim for the eighth time in a row. So it's not really, it's not really working for me. It's not really um, I will say like Skyrim VR. Oh, no, sir. Skyrim on your Alexa? Come on, man. Exactly. Um, Skyrim on my this, iPad, sure. The I guess the only one good thing coming out of this will probably be that the homebrew community will probably begin to thrive because it's going to not receive end of life updates. All the multiplayer or always online services are going to go down, so you don't really have to worry about getting banned or anything. We wouldn't have this problem, low key. So that's What'd the only good thing that's going to come out of this. For sure, for sure. Um, get sixty four at like the same price as the PSP. We wouldn't. This wouldn't phase me for shit because I just download every. Yeah, I probably should have. I probably should have bought uh, a lot of that stuff ahead of time. So um, let me see. This is. Uh... <laughs> A follow-up question from from last week when we were talking about a homie who uh, who was was hitting on a on his home homeboy's girl. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Oh yeah, no! Yeah, yeah. So he finally finally gave us a little bit of follow-up. So I hit up my homie's girl. <laughs> first of all, wow. first of all, wow. we need to stop. Wow. So I hit hold up my on, homie's girl in, in hopes to have a conversation with her about how I feel. It turns uh -oh. out. That she's been having issues with her boyfriend. Do I proceed oh. to talk to them about her? Oh. Do I proceed to talk to her about his relationship, or should I warn my homie? Now, first of all, holy that that is that is that is uh, that you are that in a pickle, rough. sir. This is rough. Oh. Woo. That's one way of putting it. Mm. Oh God, man. Okay, as as as. As the resident OnlyFans holder, okay, I think uh -oh. I should answer this first. I really right, think I should. It. Homie, let me tell you something right now. I think plotting on the homie's girl is disrespectful, 100%. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, my brothers. Uh, me, on the other hand, though, if the homie does not want to be with his girl, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Can I get an amen, my brothers? Amen. Okay, I only got one there. I guess y'all not feeling that. What's going on? <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so but, but it's awkward. It's awkward, you know. Y'all go out, and he bringing the new chick to the, to the get together, it? and uh, you know what I'm saying? That's none like, of my. That's none of my concern. I don't know. That's like you left. To, uh, you left your house. girl. Why is that? It? Why is that my problem? You right. You right. You right. You right. Can I get an amen? You Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. Deacon, what you, what you talking about? So it's like, I mean, you ain't want it. So. She says, Daddy, that's a problem. She said, who's Daddy? Uh-oh. If you answer yes, that that's a problem. Yes to what? Yes. He ate my Anything that she said. Rachel's got porn things going on in his head. Yeah, he really do. This man People is, don't speak like that in public. This man is on the hub right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I ain't get what you said, dog. You, you on your own. From that. Shit, that's, a, that's a very interesting island you got there. Um, exactly. But I think, I think all in all, 
that's a tough spot. I mean, I've I'm not gonna lie. I've had a crush on the homie's girl before. Um, oh, many I, times. I yeah, I've I've kept it no. to myself. I, yeah, I've kept it to myself, and I just be sitting there. I'm not plotting, but I mean, you know, the blueprints are. I got some blueprints. That's all I'm we saying. We got a plan got, A and a plan B. Uh, yeah, we got a plan A, plan B, and plan C. I mean, we're not plotting. Nah, you I'd know, be taking that just... to the next level. I'd be like, I can fuck both of y'all. We all win. Uh, what? Oh my god. Hello, what? sir. What? Sir. I'm not stopping because these are facts. Stormy Rancho, everybody. Storm, <laughs> Stormy Rancho. Sir, uh, Mr. I guess, Stormy. Hey, listen, man. Sometimes you don't discriminate. You know, you fuck the homie's girl, you fuck the homie, I guess, right? Homies over hoes. Do the parties. homie, right? Um, go no? off, King, yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. Yeah. Do whatever you want, <laughs> you man. Go. So, Do the uh, homie. Yeah, uh, being horny is a sin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> go to horny 100, jail. 100% go straight to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. <laughs> mm. Jesus. All right. Um, so we can get into, uh, some tougher ones. And then I have one, two, three, four, four specifically for me. And then that's just on Instagram. And then we're going to check Twitter. Um, who is this down bad? Uh, somebody asked, Hey Jay and the podcast, uh, do you guys believe that Asian lives matter? Obviously. What is, um, what is, what is that question? What is that what question? Is, what actually is that question? Listen, man, I don't know what to tell you. I just put the questions out there. You know, I, I ask people for topics and stuff like that. What they put is what they put. You know, yes, I don't pick I support the movement. I, I yes, believe I'm expecting in the Asian paper to come back. Yeah. Yes. Um, I, uh, one of my best friends is actually Filipino growing up. She's like a sister to me, so I'm like literally worried about her every day oh, now. You don't fuck might, her, okay. Uh, okay, yeah. well, I think I got a hot take. Um... <laughs> Oh no, hold on. Okay, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, if Jay said, I, I think I know what I, he gonna say. Oh, we, we know what he gonna fucking say. If, if, look, listen. If you, if it's what think I think so you gonna say, badly I'm of me. Agree. Come on, no, no, listen. Just, no, just, 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 it's okay. Just say what you gonna say, and you may have an ally. Just, hold just on. go hold ahead and say. <laughs> it. I know I do. I know I do. Um, just go ahead and say it. So first of all, let me let me start off by saying, of course, Asian lives do matter. Okay, obviously. Uh, but so do black lives, okay? I just want to remind everybody that black lives still matter, okay? Uh, I think anybody was trying to take it. Uh, listen, I'm not saying anybody's trying to take anything away, but I, as a black man, feel that, unfortunately, yes, I can sympathize, but unfortunately, it's not that I don't care. It's just that I emotionally don't have any capacity left there's no there's no there's you know what i mean like i can't care about everything if that makes any sense like i i can't i can't be worried about me and be worried about all my hispanic homies all my asian homies all you know definitely not the white homies not so much i'm i'm definitely worried of them wow you know i'm i'm, I'm nervous i'm nervous around them i'm not gonna lie no. <laughs> every time i'm hanging around the, the white homies i do get nervous i, I can't I can't lie. I can't lie because it, it only it only takes hand. one day. It only takes one day for you to snap, and then next thing you know, hey Jay, you know you've never really been my favorite nigga. Um, <laughs> so, I didn't know I was ever one of your niggas. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's how I know he really meant business when he said the n word straight to my face like that, mm -hmm. and then proceeded to reach into his backpack. Uh -oh. Um, but anyway, wait. I'm just saying that I don't have, I unfortunately do not have the emotional capacity to care about every tragedy that happens. I just can't. Like, every time there's a school shooting, I can't, I, I mean, I have to contemplate the fact that multiple human lives have been lost. You know what I mean? Like, these are not, these are not just numbers. These are not just, like, people that I don't know. These are actual human beings who no longer reside on this planet. People that could have made a huge difference to your lives, my life, you know, anybody's. So it's kind of, it's fatiguing to think about all the time. So it's kind of, it kind of sucks, yes, but it's also one of those things like, we were having a conversation before the podcast where it's just like, only a few of my Asian homies were really like, you know, Black Lives Matter and all that other stuff, you know what I mean? Like when it really was like uproar time. So yeah. to see that it's like flipped around the other way, it's kind of like, I don't want to feel like I'm obligated to, but obviously like, you know, racial violence is obviously wrong. I feel like what I'm saying is not coming out of my mouth. No, no, my no, no. Well, okay, what here, what I you're got saying you. is right. Help me clean it up. Help me clean it up. I got you. It's, it's, it's just that you're desensitized to it. That's no, all. What, what Jay right, is right. saying. 
that he cares about Asian Americans. He wants Asian hate to stop. But as a black person in America, you have to put your life, you know, you got to care about your life first because obviously you're facing the same, if not more, violence against you as a race. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Right, right. And not only that. We were discriminated first and we didn't get no help. Not just, just not just first. I don't want to say that. I don't want to make it seem like, you know, it's a, like, <laughs> yeah. obviously me and Asians my, were, me and my Jewish homies do it all no the time. There was no Asian slavery. I'm just my, the Asians <laughs> were thrown into caves and blown up to make the railroad. <laughs> yeah, we were raped, hung for amusement. But you're alive. True, true. true. That's about? a good point. Asians had their own country. And, they, they they and, and, and a culture, and a culture that they're still attached to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what he's saying. But like we have no culture. We have nowhere to go. We have been stripped of everything. Yeah, and it's it's funny because me and my me and my Jewish homies always like to do the struggle Olympics between black people and Jewish people, and it's like, bro, nobody really wins. Like, damn just, it, I forgot about Egypt. Yeah, Egypt, about e- Egypt is, is in <laughs> Africa. Like, <laughs> then we forget that one point there. Um, so yeah, it's just it's it's tough. Like, I feel for it, but I it's I can't. Um, everything is so damaging to me. Like, I feel like black people have to care about everything. Like, every time another race has a struggle, black people, come and help us. Like, we we, we need you guys to, re- like, our celebrities, our doctors, our politicians really just be coming to bat for people. And I was talking about this last time. Uh, what was it? Uh, there was another podcast. We had talked about this before. I think it was me and, De- and Deacon was on the episode, and we had talked about it. Um, and it's just like, black people come to the defense of everybody. Sometimes we just tired. You know, we can't, yeah. we can't, you know, shout the battle cry for everybody every single time. Like, I'm not saying that we're not going to do it here. I'm just saying, like, bruh, like, sorry. Like, this is, this is your struggle. Good luck. Like, we can't, yeah. we, I, I mean, we can help to the best of the, the media, ability, but, like. The media was saying, like, what black people can do now that this has happened to Asians. And I was just sitting there reading it, like. Like, we're obligated uh, to do something. Uh, exactly exactly like like we're supposed to just get up out of our chairs you know what we got to make this stop when it's like it was controversial for people to support just black people existing yeah, well, like yeah, i don't yeah, i don't yeah i don't understand that so now it's like it's this whole movement where of course now i kind of now that i say it out loud i kind of feel like you know because of all the movements of last year this year and just going forward Maybe people do realize that, like, hey, when somebody says my life matters, you know, everybody needs to get up and rally behind it. It shouldn't be controversial. Maybe Black Lives Matter had to walk so Asian Lives Matter could run. You know what I mean? Like, kind of like that. But then in that regard, we still don't care about black people. Like, what? So, you know, I'm just I'm just a little confused. I, I can't. I do care, but I, I, I emotionally cannot care about everything. So yeah, it's like people are going to look at you sideways when you say something like that too. Like, so what are you saying? You're not you're not supporting them, and it's right, like, right. But I, then, that's, that's not, but then, if somebody says saying. that they I don't, don't support, it's but, true. That happened when the Black Lives Matter thing happened. I didn't see a single Asian person marching with us. I think that's I only out that. of out of like the ten or twelve that I know, I think only two, two or three publicly said something. Or the whole DC stuff, I saw that firsthand. I didn't see Asian people out there supporting what all these racist white people were, had like pretty much open carrying in a, a federal state where cops should have just unloaded. I'm just saying. Oh, 100%. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. they chose not to because some of these cops were just like about that. I'm, I'm just saying, I've seen the Asian struggle. I've been around these people. I've supported them with a lot of things. I'm just saying, it wasn't, the shoe wasn't on the other foot. Yeah. I'm just talking from my experience. I'm open for people to prove me wrong, but not on social media, not actually any influencers when it comes to high content creators or celebrities whatsoever. Pretty much the common people a lot. It's like oh, that, that like, really they that really be irking me. Like when celebrity when when high profile people or like people with a platform don't say nothing when clearly there's something like that happening, mm-hmm. it's like bro. So you, no you want people to help you build the platform that you have. You want people to help you get to where you at. But when that's you finally that's establish that yeah, platform, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. scared to say something because you're going to lose your brand. Andrew Yang is the only person that said something that I Crazy. actually saw. Just him. Crazy. Just just Andrew Yang. Just yeah. him. One Asian man in all of America supports black people. Like, I, he actually did, when it was addressed with the situation, he did say it. Like, and, and he put his money one. where his mouth is, too. He was donating to right. causes and stuff like that. Now I want I want to say this though. 
we can have this conversation about, you know, Black Lives Matter, Asian Lives Matter, Latin Lives Matter, all these other things. When are we going uh, that's to... That's Latinx, thank you. Lat- Latinx, excuse me, sorry to my to my Latin people, uh, excuse me, uh, excuse my Negro ignorance. Um, <laughs> When are we going to stop yeah, white supremacy? That's what I want to know. When are we going to stop domestic terrorism? When are we going to... When is that going to be taken seriously? That's that's the thing, because all these, like, I'm not hating on, like, um, race Go lives matter here, fill them with whatever you want, but that's that's not a preventative that's let's well it's a preventative cause it's not curative we're trying to fix ourselves and not handle the people that are doing the fucking damage and we're afraid to because predominantly it's white people and who runs america still and that, white that requires acknowledging uh that white people a are problem. problem yeah that's uh and taking responsibility and just like women well, we're saying white people don't oh, we, need more, we need for more white allies that's it just I, I knew nothing was going to change, honestly, from, like, not even a race thing. I knew nothing was going to change when Sandy Hook happened. Mm. Damn. Mm. That's that's back there. Like, those, like those, were, those were kids. You know that's what I'm saying? That's the worst night right there. Why didn't you say anything? Those, I'm just saying, those those are kids. And still, it's for people to still support out. the fact that, you know, the whole gun thing and all that, people are still like, oh, you should have them and blah, blah, blah. It's like... A bunch of kids was killed, bro. Yeah. How how, yeah, how but, could you not get behind that? But, but I my rifle. It's for protection. These exactly. Exactly. How how am I supposed to protect? Happen, they will Here, shoot them. They never do. Here's the, yeah. Here's here's the white mentality. How am I supposed to protect my child from getting shot if I don't have a gun? Um, the child's the one that's shooting. Parent better. How about that? The child's the one that's shooting. <laughs> yeah. No. If that's we can't. Like some but then can. they still need their fucking gun because the kid needs it at that point. Yeah, you gotta it's send, like you gotta send little Johnny ten, with a nine millimeter to school. Fucking like, Billy and tell me. In the school system, we need to just really bring up the topic of racism. Like it's one of those things. It needs to be taught early, and it needs to be taught ugly. Mm. Yeah, like, because that's what it is. Yeah, yeah it's something that these kids, is mainly of minority race, are just gonna deal with. It's low key. It's just a part of a culture, just living now. As if far as you're going to be now. Well, because I heard that they were trying to rework the way that the Civil War was taught in Texas one time. And Bruh. apparently, like, um, the parents didn't want their kids to learn about racism being one of the leading causes and slavery being one of the leading causes that led up to World War II. Yeah. And it's it, like, it, but it, that's it. the fucking reality, though. Yeah. Yeah. They were fighting over, can we keep our Negroes as tools or not? Like, exactly. But, oh, I don't want my kid learning that. Motherfucker, that was... Wasn't this your state back in the day? <laughs> Yikes. This, isn't this you? This you? <laughs> Tweets from the 1800s thing? resurfaced, uh, bro. This is literally you. Oh, my you gotta, God. I people people don't like to I face the truth, it's man. They don't. I don't know. They don't like to face the truth. They really don't. Or, or they just don't care. One to two. That's insane. I think they're not held accountable for it. I feel like it's one of those things. I agree. Closet races yeah. are together until one of them gets caught and they're just going to put mm-hmm. that one person under the bus if they're all yeah. brought out like that whole uh god what was that website that had a bunch of cheaters on it and they released all the names oh cheaters, uh, cheaters. madison ashley yeah, or like, something ashley madison, that yes, happened, ashley madison. i'm glad i uh i'm glad i used an alias you know what i'm saying hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Who you not cheat? just jay yeah nah or not I'm only jay there we go mm. there you go it's one of those things I feel like this. How, did, be- how do we get to the website about cheating based off of a uh, civil war? I don't know, but oh, speaking I, of cheating, um, oh, just about people being exposed. That's yeah, all. let's go ahead. Oh, and, uh, follow up question. Um, one person in particular, she asked. And you already know. Yeah, I already know. She asked. Uh, out of the people on the podcast who is single, okay. um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Uh, she said uh, that the people want to know. She said the people have to know for the culture. Um, I don't think it's important that the culture knows my relationship Yeah, the culture status. doesn't care what you do in your spare time. As long Honestly. as it's not racist. Um, because not only that, uh, I think it speaks volumes that every week I come on this podcast and I say something and I get my front door kicked in and I get my ass whooped, I think it already speaks for itself, okay? Ooh. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I don't think I need to say anything, but I will say <laughs> I will say this. In the current situation that I am in, it is very fluid right now, and a lot of conversations are happening back and forth um, with several people, 
Um, and I think uh, honesty is the best policy when it comes to human beings. Um, like how Jay so, just said, I get myself in trouble and proceeds to say some shit that'll get him in trouble. Proceeds to say some shit that gets me in trouble. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Several, several people are typing. Yes, sir. Several Hold people on. are typing. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the, que- the answer is um, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, ooh, depends ooh, on. Geez. Sometimes you're single. Some, sometimes I'm single. Sometimes I'm not. It depends on who's feeling what Help type of way. So. Help him, Lord. Mm. All right, <laughs> let me proceed. Let me let me dig a little deeper since nobody wants to jump on top of what I had to say. So oh, anyway, okay. essentially, uh, uh, I'm single. Well, hold on now. Hold care. on. Let me let me get one point out. Uh, essentially, okay. um, when you get older, and you still kind of balancing between friendship, situationship, <laughs> relationship. <laughs> And, you know, like definite going somewhere after a certain amount of time, because of communication, you define your your boundaries with different adults and different people and stuff like that. Like uh, I have friends that I hang out with that one girl thinks I'm fucking, which I'm clearly not fucking them, which is very unfortunate, which I've told her directly to her face. Listen, if I was given the opportunity, OK, it <laughs> Swing and a miss. Okay, Ooh, that's all I'm oh, saying. Hey. Um, so you know, I think it's uh, when when it comes to dealing with people as adults, communicating, letting them know, like, hey, by the way, it's not humanly possible for a single human being to fulfill all of your needs. Uh, let me go and uh, hang out with this person. Rather, you're cheating, not cheating, uh, emotionally cheating, psychologically cheating, whatever the fuck. Everybody has like primal needs that only other human beings meet, and sometimes these things line up, sometimes they don't. So that's a complicated way to say it's none of your business. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, uh, to uh, to continue, oh, uh, yeah, none of your business. Yeah, that's basically it. So, that's um, I'll DJ, say, she I'll actually, she actually mentioned it. you, DJ. She wants to know if you single. Oh, wait, whoa, what? Mm-hmm. Who? What? Wait, wait, Mainly, whoa, whoa, what? She said, she, yes, your name is actually, hold on, let me pull it up for you real quick. Hold on. Oh, oh that's crazy. Um, I'm about to put it on camera. Hold on. DJ. Get the car fast real quick. DJ, hold on, hold on, hold on, right? Okay. I got to pull up the stream? Let me, yeah, you got to pull up the stream. I, I'm going I'm to screenshot and it, and then I'm going to get, get rid of her name. It says right here. Go ahead and pull this up. DJ, <laughs> are you single? Right there. I know stop you can't playing. see it. Stop. You better stop playing. I uh, know you can't see it. Hold on, hold on. Hey, there, there it is. DJ, are you single? Yes, oh, sir. That's crazy. Yes, that's sir. Crazy. Not only that. Look at this. Look, no trickery. No trickery. Same, same window, right? I'm gonna click. I'm gonna click delete. Right there. We on the page. It's oh, on the page. Crazy. Actively. Oh, that's man. Crazy. Actively on the page. Oh so, man. man. To answer your question, young lady. Uh, I am. No, that was a man. Actually, <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it was. Yeah, either was, way, I gotta. Go. Either way, <laughs> 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 my mom calling me. I gotta go. <laughs> okay, DJ, no, I, I, I ain't. I ain't got no. I ain't got no girl right now, man. I'm just. You know, I'm That's looking. Unfortunate. But oh, you looking? Yeah, I'm not. He yeah, window dropping right now. I, I downloaded this app called Kippo. Let me tell you oh about this God. Kippo, dog. You're nine not matches to, so far. You're not, a, you're not about to drop a sponsorship in my podcast. No, nah, no free, no free advertisement. Uh, my bad, my uh, bad, uh, my bad. Uh, no sir, no sir. I downloaded the app and we're we're currently seeking uh <laughs> currently seeing arrangements. That's what you're doing. Yes, yes. Um, currently seeking other applicants. Yeah, so, honestly, that that kind of gets me into another way. conversation. Uh, I gotta go out woo a chick, and that's it. Nigga, like, are she you needs playing to the Sims? Get like nah, like you can't. You gotta bounce up with that. No, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Rencho Yo. believes in imprinting his women. You know, you yeah. can't be running around the ranch. When Rencho goes on a more than one date, he actually he actually tags the woman so he knows where she's at. Yeah, Dates? Exactly. What do you mean? You mean I want to eat and she follows me? Then Did yes. she just happen to be there? <laughs> oh my god, she taking my food? Is that what you mean? Mm, mm, yeah. mm, mm, mm. So I've been on several eatings with chicks, and it's always her best friend to be getting angry. Okay. I don't like you. So uh, we're gonna move on to the last one, and then we can get into some canon and some uh, filler. Are you shit telling today. me women aren't just objects for you to throw away? This is uh, what? That's exactly what we're saying, Rachel. Yeah, what? No. Rachel, we've been doing a lot of hard work to uh, make the female community feel welcomed here. Honestly, yeah. I, oh, I, I, the, it's funny. The six women that I know that actually actively watch the show 
have just been like, yo, by the way, thank you for making this a spa safe space where you guys talk about, you know, women issues and stuff like that. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, Deacon, I'm I got to pull up that video. Uh, I got to pull up that I'm video that you're talking about. I love reading women. No. Wait, hold on. Right, I'm still talking. What video? Uh, I have to pull up that video uh, that we were we were sharing on Instagram. Where is it? That's what we're going to talk about last. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get let me let me pull it up for the stream real quick. Uh, so Deacon sent me a video um, of this girl. Uh, actually, it was several women who are having issues with being harassed by men and stuff like that. And me and Deacon had a very interesting conversation regarding it. Hold on. Let me pull it up real quick. Um, do, 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 if y'all want to jump in while I'm doing this. Oh, I can't find you. It. it depends on the level of harassment. I met a lot of women. Uh, this man just grabbed titty straight on stream. That yeah, kind of harassment. Yeah, it was, it was That's real. not harassment. That's molestation. The, <sighs> sexual the? harassment. Yo, Rachel, man. don't say that like it makes it okay. Oh, he wasn't harassing her. He was molesting her. That's completely different. Sexual harassment to me, you can just explicitly say stuff and imply certain rape culture tendencies that's just sexual harassment listen i've man, had I'm a tell you. the fuck is it rape culture sometimes wrench will be on point other times wrench can miss he does indeed miss <laughs> yeah he messing he missing right now he missing big so essentially there was this bigger conversation of uh so there was this girl who was live streaming you know she's a twitch streamer and she does what are called irl streams where she you know has her phone and she goes around you know shopping she goes throughout her day and talks to her chat cool um she was having literally in just the one stream that deacon and i watched and this was just from the same stream she got harassed like four or five or six times like by by just random dudes on the street and i was yeah. like okay this makes it makes some sense but it doesn't because and, and i'm gonna backtrack here hot take it, hot take it, hot take it does make sense because the men that were around were creepy as fuck you could clearly tell these particular gentlemen that were trying to interact with her were creepy as fuck absolutely one dude tried to grab her titty live on stream like she's literally walking away and this guy goes hey let me how is that not up. sexual assault tell Bruh. me exactly Bruh. how it's not i want it to is. know that's the point that's i the want point. to know and this this brought up a bigger a bigger conversation i want to know why are public ass whippings not legal like if i seen I a agree. dude do this i agree if i seen a dude do this this in, in a Stomping court of law this out. should be we should Three, four, five guys need to be able to stomp this guy out, and it'd be perfectly legal. Because shit I like agree. that is is really fucked up. And yeah. then there was um there was one guy. He was following her around for like three or four blocks. Like she was sitting at a coffee shop, and he just came over just to like hang out with her. And she was like, "Oh no, like I'm cool." Clearly saying like she did not want to be bothered, yeah, or anything like that. And I was telling Deacon like, "Okay, these there's two factors here." All of these really creepy dudes in this Asian country, which did kind of did make sense. Uh, everybody I've ever talked to that has gone to every woman that I've ever talked to that has gone to an Asian country has talked about the harassment there. And it's just on a different level. Not to say that it doesn't happen everywhere, of course, because it yeah, does. Yeah, it happens um, everywhere. But this girl is also a Twitch streamer whose phone is mounted to a selfie stick uh, or like a tripod or something with an external battery and like uh, some other equipment that is attached on there. That is going to bring a lot of eyes. And if 80% of the people around you are creepy dudes, unfortunately, I'm not saying this is her fault in any way, shape, or form, nor am I, like, excusing it, because these dudes need their asses beat, for sure. Yeah. For sure these dudes need their asses beat. Because I am getting just... fucked in Mario Kart. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, um, yes. That's how we address sexual assault. I'm being fucked in Mario Kart. Yes. Basically. Hello, I, I just... <laughs> I I personally think this level of of fuck shit should not be tolerated. You know, mm -mm. there should be there should be a limit to where like, yo, I saw this girl getting sexually harassed, so I stomped this guy's skull in. Yes, I didn't have to kill him, but it seemed like it he could like be the right thing to do. Yeah, it felt at the time it just seemed like it was okay, Your Honor. You know what I mean? Tell you what, so, Jay, there's not a jury in the world that would convict. If I was white, maybe. Uh, you probably get away with it, Nasia. I mean, just maybe. plead insanity. Insanity. No. Plead self defense. He had no. his dick out, officer. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah, we'd have to play evidence. We'd have to. I'd be like, Miss, you're gonna, gonna have to pull him. his dick out because once, once my fingerprints are on it, they gonna know I tried to rip this man's dick off. Actually, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Take his dick out. Take his dick out. That's what you take have to do. Take his dick out. Take his dick out before the cops show up. That's it. 
Officer, you should have seen this man. He was he was wild. He came at her with his penis. Ah! So I so had to lay him out. That was it. And then as he proceeded to say, no, sir, stop. I proceeded to continue stomping on his skull. Until yeah, his he jaw was broken move. at that point. I couldn't understand him. Yes. You but know, also American the problem history with X, that, that whole thing is that there will be like a lot of people that be like homeboys with these people that's out here doing that type of thing. And they mm -hmm. won't say nothing. Like they, right, they really right. be in the group and they be that, laughing at it. Like that's funny. Publicity. Yeah, I think I'm kind of half on half that I've seen that go wrong with some of my homies. Like they get loose. Oh, no, I don't have I don't have no homeboys that I know that have I don't have any none of my none of my that, friends yeah, like none of my homies have I'm not like a, like seeing some of this happen and it's like they uh, interject and it kind of like oh, the they alien radius one? of the police uh, kind of just went on to them. Right, 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 right. Because mm -hmm. like they're associating like that that's something that a lot now, of Rachel, people. Now, Rincho, let me ask let me ask you a question. Are these like it is none of your business? Let me ask you a question, Rincho. Are these gentlemen black? That and Puerto Rican. That's kind of ah, like, oh, that's so that combination. Black and black and brown. Yeah, there was no white people yeah. in the vicinity. We have to have a, a white person to talk to the cops and saying, "Hey, this woman was being sexually assaulted." Blah 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 blah. And uh, so me and me and my n words, because you know he can't, you know my, me and my roadies, me and my roadies, me and my buddies here whoop this me guy's ass. Brothers. So you know, I mean, I I'm also the same person who has come on the podcast time and time again when we talk about pedophilia, and I think that it cannot be rehabilitated. I don't think you can change people like that, and I think they no. should be. I think they should be put in the dirt, bro. Honestly, put them yep. in a fucking jar. Like, do these you think they cannot... should be chemically castrated? No, no, that's... you should be killed. Uh... You should be killed, bro. Like, hundred percent. Like, I can understand. Like, okay, I have. I will admit, I've gone on a date once or twice, and. Thought I saw some signals that were not proper signals and had to apologize. Okay? I'm going to start with that. Do I get the I, opposite. That's it. That's Usually it. The chick feels right like there. I'm her age. Oh. Huh? That's that, what doesn't, I've got. That, that doesn't say what you think it says about you, Rensha. No, it's like I remember this whole thing at the IHOP where it's like this chick was coming up to me and she was flirting and everything like that. And she asked for my number and it's like she was young. Because uh, I remember that's oh. how I found out because mm. I asked her about the Nintendo 64. Mm. And I was like, when were yeah. you born? Yeah. <laughs> when you start asking, when you start asking girls about questions about stuff from the 90s and they'd be like, huh? That's how you know huh? to walk away. Man, okay, who's your, who's your favorite here. character on Rugrats? On what? On what? All grown up? What? I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Like, <laughs> that, it did scare me. I ain't going front. But that's that's my fault. At mm. the end of the day, I should have started with that. But then at the end of the day, why mm -hmm. she looks so old? That's true. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I think we I think we talked about that on a, on another podcast episode. Like why some of these 15, 16 year old girls be looking like they're 20 and shit. They do. Um yeah, that's that's not okay. That's not okay at all. Um I actually like, told really the story of one time. This is actually something I will reveal that I'm not gonna get in trouble for. Here we go. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> it's gonna get in trouble for It's that. another story that I'm not gonna get in trouble trouble for. Da -da 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 -da. Um <laughs> So, okay, uh, this was when I was during my single days, right? And I met this young lady on, on Tinder and, uh, we arranged our first date for me to go and pick her up. And so when I picked her up, it was at a Starbucks and we were going to go, you know, do whatever, go, you know, hang out or some shit. I don't know. I had no yeah. plans at that point in time. This is, I was younger then. Okay. I was mid twenties, you know, car full of gas. I could do anything I want. Wallet full of trunk full of money. Go yes, anywhere. Trunk full Car of money. Full of gas, trunk full of money. Yes, yes sir. sir. I was ready to go. And yes, so I sir. remember picking her up and she was like, Hey, sorry I'm late. I got out of school late. You know, I needed to do homework. Blah 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 blah. I was like, Oh, okay, that's no problem. You know, like we can stop somewhere, you can finish your homework or whatever. And like during our conversation, I don't remember word for word what it was anymore, but like there were certain clues that I was just like, huh, like this don't feel right. And I asked her, I was like, okay, yeah, we can hang out and, you know, maybe later we can get a drink. And she's like, oh, I can't, you know, I, I, I don't drink. Like, I can't. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. So now I'm thinking like, okay, she, so she can't drink. Huh, she has okay. homework. She has homework. Where did I pick her up from? Okay. Her mom I mean, dropped guess. her off. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she, uh, <laughs> she's got a Dora Explorer backpack. I mean, something's... Wait, so we're in a... Oh, <laughs> we're <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, wait, wait. So, back, back, back. Any, anyway, so I, I pieced it together. Yeah, I'm they, thinking they the girl's 20. The first half. Ooh, Bro, geez. I'm thinking... <laughs> I, listen, I am thinking the girl is 20... And so, you know, I'm asking her questions about, you know, some of her favorite 90s music and stuff like that. And she knows a few of them. 
So I'm like, I'm like, all right, I guess. I was like, so like, I, I just, I, I guess this is the first time I'm asking, but like, how old are you? And she was like, oh, I'm 16. I was like, huh? Huh? And bro, I have never. <laughs> oh, no, no. That ain't it. No. That ain't it. That ain't no. it at all. So I ended up. That I is said, not okay. That is not okay at all. So what I ended up doing, I immediately pulled over and I said, uh, "You know what? Get out. Let's go. Let's go get some." No, no. Here's the worst part. I said, "Let's go get something to eat." We were over in um, Culver City at the time, and mm. she's like, "Oh, okay. You know, like I know a few spots here. We go to the restaurant." We're getting ready to order. The water comes. I said, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. (laughs) 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 Not only did I not go to the bathroom, I dipped out of that motherfucker so goddamn fast, bro. This was clearly none of my business. I did not belong here. All that TLDR to say, listen, some of these girls just be looking too old, man. There's no reason why a 16-year-old girl should be looking like she's 25. Please protect your daughters because this is not okay. This is absolutely no not She's been on Tinder in the first place. Yeah, no. Bro, imagine I, if that was some sort of weirdo, bro, and now they snatch your daughter up. That's what, what I'm saying. Gay. Or, or even worse, if I had stayed 30 seconds longer, Chris Hansen would have showed up. Why don't you have a seat right there? The car. Hello, Mr. J. Sama. <laughs> you came looking for sex with you a You came what? looking for, <laughs> for sexual relations with a 16-year-old. I'm like, yo, excuse me? With a who? This woman with is wrong. <laughs> this young sir, lady took, is 16, sir. She took me on the date. What do you mean? Mm-mm. I'm her tutor. What are you talking about? Her parents hired me. No, mm mm, mm mm, no. Yeah, no, we God, study. I'm fucking a mom, it's okay. Yeah, we we study science. Mm hmm. The science yeah. of me getting my ass out of science. here. So, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's a, I think that's a, I think that was a cool starter, wouldn't you say, guys? I ain't hear Deacon's story yet. I know you've been. Oh, yeah, I want to hear Deacon's fucking, story. Wait, what story? What was her age on Tinder? Her age on Tinder was 19. She said she was 19 on Tinder, by the way. No, 18 is too young for me. Fuck that. I, I agree. If, if you can't order your own alcohol, I can't fuck with you. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. So, you know, okay, so it is what it is. About me, Deacon. Yes. That's crazy. Crazy. Yikes. And fi- oh finally, God. it's out in the up- finally glad it's out in the open plane. Anyway, let's go ahead and get I'm into some filler shit this week, me guys. Too. Um, the yeah. first Yo. thing, let's keep it. <laughs> Let's keep it a little light here. Uh, so there was a report that came out. Um, I don't know what, what source this is from, but apparently there was a door a DoorDash driver who reportedly held a customer's food hostage in exchange oh, nice. for sex. In exchange for some coochie. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm going uh, to what, 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 What'd they order? Let's, let's ask that Because, <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, you know what? I might be willing to give it up. Guy. Like, no, like, don't do that. Unless it's some ass, bro. You giving it up for a chicken, a Chick Fil A chicken sandwich, girl? You nasty. Oh, you oh, dirty no. bitch. You nasty. Okay, bitch. Let, let's just say, ain't no way they have some nigga being real. Like no the white girls. Did he want white. vaginal or anal? Because that that goes into the decision. Honestly, I, it does not say. It does not say vaginal uh-huh. or anal, sir. So well, all I know vaginal. is, I as a previous DoorDash driver wish I would have came up with this idea. I really God, you remember when I, you remember when I dropped Greg's yams, right? Listen. Oh should, man, we can never forget the yams. Oh my God, that was a rough story. We not telling that one on the podcast. Uh, Jay dropped some yams and put them back in the container. Then no, them. I didn't. That's not what happened. <laughs> that is not what happened. And I most certainly did not lick my fingers while I was doing it. Okay. <laughs> I. I don't know where you get off telling. I don't know where you get off telling the these stories, bro. You just I still lying. Oh, nah. the day. You you lying the all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, <laughs> sir, you are lying. Nah, we, this we is need, li- need This is a man. lie, oh, and this man. is a. Yeah, you take care of yourself. You just giving away everything that's I happening. I don't just know what he's talking. About. Listen, but I ain't dropped them yams, bitch. Bro, I'm gonna tell you right now. I didn't know my homie Deacon was six nine. That's all I gotta oh, say. Yeah. I didn't know I'm, my I'm a tall motherfucker. Here. I am a tall motherfucker. 
Okay, you um, go sit your ass down so I can be taller than you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So um, I, I, you know what? I'm a little, I'm a little jealous. I wish I would have thought about uh, thought about this one day. You know, it's just like, I mean, my ultimate fantasy as a DoorDash driver, as a Uber driver, as a Lyft driver at one point in time, Jesus as a Christ, as a as a Postmates driver, bro. I didn't have fifty thousand jobs. Okay, let me tell Jay you. Jay right has some indie, some indie apps that nobody yes, know about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I really do. Um, it was always my ultimate fantasy to be tipped with coochie. All right, I've always wanted to be invited into a young lady's home. Unfortunately, sir, I don't have any cash. Or, or she she says I don't have change for a hundred. Here, just take the whole thing. Like these are fantasies that run in your mind. You know what I mean? Like you delivering yeah. some girl's pizza, some girl's Chick Fil A, her uh, you know, uh, Cheesecake Factory, you know, whatever, whatever. You she invites you inside. Nice. Bro, That's literally invite, the one thing, man. like pizza, right? Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> she round invites table. you inside. Oh, you know, oh, do you want to have something to eat? I got a little bit too much. You know, I, you know, I, I have to get back like on the road. She was like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Like, you know, just just stay and hang out. You know, my, my boyfriend broke up with me. Oh, you say your boyfriend broke up with you? See, I do have this <laughs> other order that I, I can cancel. I have some Chick-fil-A lemonade in the car. I can Middle cancel that woman, order. A loose robe and a bottle full of wine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or uh, somebody, somebody's mom ordered Postmates, you know, and the kids are out. And you just, well, hello, Husband, Mr. Postmates, man. Small. He hello, Miss Parker. How you doing? So, you know, I just, I've always wanted to be rewarded with coochie for my, for my hard endeavors because it is, it's difficult delivering food, bro. It really is. So, you know, for a young lady, every 100 deliveries I make, if one lady were to bust me off some coochie, I mean, why not? Come on. Like, all I'm saying is tip your delivery drivers in some coochie. That's it. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Pretty no, sure that goes against the, uh. It doesn't. Yeah, you know, there like, actually it doesn't is no rule. There is no rule against it. However, a a customer tips you is how a customer tips you, and neither DoorDash, Postmates, uh, Uber, Uber Eats, uh, any of these other motherfuckers can tax the tip that you made. Hell so, yeah! I'm just know. putting it out there. If you look like Alstafo, that is okay too. I will smash. Yo, uh, really? Uh, yeah, we already know that. Uh, All right. Uh, they know that. Nigga, y'all niggas ain't, but it's like I'm not discriminated. Uh, like both people can catch it. I feel that. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I, mean, I feel yeah. that. Do you, brother? Do you? Do do Nigga, you? What's an I doing me? I get you, right, show. I get you. Listen, man. That's that's all you ever do is just do yeah. you. I'm praying just for this man. I'm do praying for him. You okay? Um, let me see. What else we got here? What else is some filler shit that we probably not? Um. I guess that's pretty much it. We, the Justice League stuff is filler, you know, talking about restore the Snyderverse. We, we don't really care about that. We Can don't we really talk care about really. Godzilla versus King Kong coming out? Like, who bought the place their bets? Who bought the win? Um, King Kong. No, I got Godzilla. That nigga I mean, is God. Yeah, I'm Get giving it to the lizard with beat laser beams Nick coming Harris. out of his mouth, man. Honestly. Whoa, hold on. Yeah, I can't. I can uh, say that. I'm a Negro. We are literally sans with no tails. True. I can accept it. True. I just got to that chapter in Dragon Ball. Mm. You mean the like, first why one? Why be a King Kong? I was a monkey. He a monkey? Uh, Shit. I want to grow this big and fight a fucking lizard. I think sometimes the BBC gene just flows in different directions, man. Some of us get tails. Some of us get third legs. And some of us are crazy. So, you know. But I will say one thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my God. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Renshaw, Renshaw you're not allowed back for another three months. <laughs> what? Yeah, you gonna, we're going to have to ban you, brother. We're going to have to put you in timeout, my guy. Yeah. Um, let me check my bookmarks. I think we got another one in here that is not a uh, vaginal activity. Hold on here. If anybody oh, that Mortal Kombat I think we need to get the white girl to the white girl in the toilet. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the yeah, title yeah, of this yeah, week's yeah, podcast. Yeah, we yeah, talk about it yet. I can't even believe <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. DJ, what you know about this white woman with, with her head in the toilet? What's going on here? This, this, uh, man, look, all I know is the bathroom. They went to the bathroom. I don't know where the idea came from, but Becky called Sarah up and she was <laughs> like, Becky was like, That's you know racist. what? I want you to do my head. And Sarah said, okay, where are we going to do it at? She was like, we going to set it off today. <laughs> they went to the bathroom. She put, she sat down. Had her back to the toilet. She dipped her head in the toilet like she was being dipped in a salsa dance. Have y'all ever seen that? Yeah, when yes, somebody sir. salsa dance and they dip, that's how they had their head in the toilet. All the way now, back. 
first of all, she yeah. wrong for that. But who really wrong was the woman that stuck her hands in that toilet to wash her hair too. What is wrong with her? Now there may be some white people in the chat. White people, I would love if you would answer this question. I don't believe anybody is white here. There's, no, man, there's, look, a, there's a few white people. Anybody that's today. listening, the next podcast we need a we need a questionnaire. Or we need an update. Answer. We need some type of update. Why? The the shower is right there. The the bathroom sink is right there. Y'all walked past the kitchen to get to the bathroom when Becky came up in the house. I got Y'all one. Y'all chose the toilet. Raisins and potato salad. Huh? What? 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 Please elaborate. What? Please elaborate. Please elaborate. I feel like they this is going somewhere. that we can't fathom. I'm just saying. It's putting genetic. raisins, putting raisins in the potato salad. Yes. Yeah. yeah they got sand in the potato okay. salad. That makes no sense. That is that is she washed her hair in the toilet. Yeah. That was that was um mm. I don't know what's there wrong with some of these people, man. Us. Honestly, yeah, I uh You know what's crazy? No, you know that wasn't even the crazy part. You know what the crazy part is? I ain't see no soap. I ain't seen no shampoo. I didn't see no shampoo. I ain't seen no body wash. I didn't see no dandruff protector. It wasn't no bubbles in no the head water. And shoulders. The water was just clear. I got it. So go. how are you washing that? I got huh? it. Oh, I bowl cleaner. That's what that shit for. Go. What do you yeah. mean the toilet bowl cleaner? Oh, there was sick. no bubbles. Oh, that is sick. There was there was no bubbles at all. Nah, it's just blue. That's all you what need. What is that with them? I'm done. I can't. <laughs> Yo, you think she washed her hands before she uh she put her hands? I don't know what. She, I don't hands? know. I don't Not know. I really don't know. Else either way. I'm worried. I'm worried, white people. I'm worried. I am worried for you. I'm, I'm not. Y'all been here way longer than you need to. Be. No three in one. No Irish Spring. No Head and Shoulders. There was no nothing. Dove, no no nothing. At- I didn't see a half a bubble in there. Y'all know when y'all had the little bubble no things. No scrubbing that you would bubbles? Turn... Come on. None of it. Something. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't see a bar of soap. Nothing. Nothing. Ah, no laundry Where detergent. Your... No fucking... Where are your utensils, miss? Where? I bet Where the other white they? lady was just like bare hands or did she glove up? Bare hands, bro. In the toilets? In the toilet. People do in hands. there, man. That's how people get pregnant. Man, whoa, what? 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 Bare hands? All right, you talking Futurama I, pregnancy? I, I, some, I somehow survived. This is this is just. I think white people. No are world is wrong with them, man. Really Becky think, and Sarah uh, lost their mind. <clears throat> I think so. you just gotta put on gloves. Like you gotta rub her up, otherwise you just Bro, literally just getting not everything. Not a bubble in sight. There was not anime, one. Anime not done in the one. chat said the the podcast is canceled now. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just thought about it. Like I literally just thought about it. I didn't see no bubbles. Yeah, nah, that's that's not okay. Um, yeah, sick. I don't have anything logical to add to this. I don't. I I checked out. I I absolutely. Yeah, checked they out had to walk school. away. This is not why people man. do you. We need y'all to find out what we don't want to do. Hmm. We're gonna. We got what we want to do. That's all common right. sense. I'm not washing my hair no toilet. People yeah, who are who are listening, people who are listening to the audio only, people who are watching the video podcast. If you're listening to this, get in contact with us. If you're a white and understand what they are doing, we need an ally on the inside to explain yeah, maybe this. There's to a us. technique that I'm not aware of. Yeah, I don't you like need a double agent. <laughs> maybe double maybe the water in the toilet's a little harsher, so it does a better scrubbing. I don't know. Mm. Listen, I don't care. Bro. She had the top of the toilet off. And then when then she the was done tank? brushing, her, yes, man, look, yes, they, yes, that's, uh, yeah. yes. All right, you know what? Uh, I retract my white ally statement. Y'all can keep that. Well, she we don't need to find out. We don't need to find out. Y'all can we keep this one. Be, nigga. Just man, man, look, she tripping. Why do they need their habitat? Mm. Just let them roam around. Let them be free. And the girl was looking like she was having a grand old time. She's sitting there smiling, just head oh. on the toilet, head on the toilet. I haven't seat. done this since uh, <laughs> back in the day. Oh God! I'm talking about I'm talking about bare neck to the toilet seat. Bare white neck. Get monkeys be. Let them just be free. Bro, help them. Help just somebody, please. Jesus. This is why you gotta have friends in every race, people. This no, I'm not Captain Safeco. I was like, look, look at this. Look (laughs) Look at these white people. I can't believe this. 
That is funny. Okay, we need to we need to get off this. I'm I'm sick to my stomach, honestly. Um, guys, Nasty. we're gonna we're gonna tackle Maybe two more things statements. today. Um, I don't know if anybody cares, but this is this is obviously canon material. We can get into some canon stuff now. Um, the new Venom movie got its title and a release date. Venom: Let There Be Carnage uh, comes out September seventeenth, twenty twenty one. Uh, yes, sir. I know Deacon is actually interested in this. Deacon, why don't you go ahead and take yeah. the floor? What, what are your thoughts and opinions on this? On um, Carnage? Uh, Carnage, Venom, the movie, uh, the fact that Sony is now, uh, not looking to put Spider-Man with Venom, I guess, it seems like. Uh, maybe. yeah, I didn't see the first one. But, uh, from what I know about Venom and Carnage, um, I'm super interested to see how they'll tackle it. Um. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. I, I really got nothing... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there actually the looking to put Spider-Man in the in the Venom movie? Uh, I know at one point in time there there was conversations to have Tom Holland and uh Tom Hardy in the same movie. Um, but I don't know if they're gonna end up doing that. Although we may see with uh, live action Into the Spider Verse coming out, um, or whatever the fuck we're gonna call it now. So uh, Spider-Man down bad. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> good title, say, working yeah, title. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, they came out with a title for that movie. What was it? I forgot. Uh, far, no, not Spider Man. Uh, Spider Man Home Squirrel, Home Skillet, Home Girl. Uh, Spider Man Home Depot. Home oh, Depot. No way. I mean, I'll just I'll just look it up later. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no way home. Yeah, it's no way home. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Super's getting mad over here. Yeah, he, 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 he said it three times. No way home. Wait, no way home. Real, no yeah. way home. Like, okay, wow. we get I it. thought he was just it. fucking with us. Home alone. Yeah, home alone. Home alone. Been a great yeah. title. <clears throat> um, also, some some other canon stuff that we could talk about. Uh, Ant Man and the no, not Ant Man. That's that's wrong. That's incorrect. Uh, that's not what we're what? talking about. Uh, what is the show? Uh, Black America and his sidekick. What are we? Black and the Winter Soldier. Oh, Black and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. You know that's what? The that's, the that's the name now. No, that's the new name. Uh, Jay just came up. Black and the Sidekick. Black, Black American and, and his sidekick. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so I, I don't know. Have you guys watched the first episode? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so it sounds like majority of the chat has. What did you guys think? Go for it. I feel like this is going to be a great show, in all honesty. There was a lot of action just about what I expected from uh, like the a Captain America-esque type show, especially with the Winter Soldier in it. So I, I have high hopes for this show, honestly. So if it lets me down, I'm going to be severely disappointed. But from the first episode, I I think that it's, it's looking up right now. All the way up? All the way up. I won't say all the way up. I don't want to get my. I don't want to get my my house that high. Yeah, but. yeah. WandaVision, about, make sure to check just, that. Just a little bit. Yeah. But like exactly. what? Forty percent exactly. there? Or what's up? Uh, if I had to give a percentage, I would. I'm giving it. I'm giving it a seventy right now. Seventy. Not bad. Seventy percent dick uh, hard for this show. That's crazy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's, not fully erect, but yeah, 70. not fully erect. I got a semi going on. Super Jet, what'd you think yeah, of the episode? Yeah. Oh, oh, you know, I gotta say, it was really dope. Uh, better, better start than WandaVision because I was actually was excited for every situation that happened with, especially with Bucky going through his old PTSD and like, oh man, I'll, I'm scared of killing people. Yeah, yeah. But, yo, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of, this is the first time I actually got a little bit interested about Marvel right now. I really thought really? you were about to say hard. <laughs> Wow, okay. Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all in this homosexual rigmarole on this podcast, man. I swear. Rigmarole. Oh, <laughs> every, yeah. every time y'all, every time y'all open your mouths, there's something about dicks every single time. God damn. Um, He's got to fill the space. Uh, Plank, did you see it? Yeah, we watched it together, Jay. That's right. We did. <laughs> right after Justice League, we did. What you, what you think, man? Yeah, I liked it. Like Super said, man, that uh, that Bucky stuff, it was really interesting. I thought it, it really it really made the episode for me. I liked the 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 Falcon stuff too. That was real. But the Bucky stuff, I felt like that shit just hit different. Man, yeah. the old yeah. man, bro, that's that was that's yeah, messed that up, bro. Sad. I don't know how he going cause you know he has his list or whatever. He on his green yeah. he on his green arrow, his Oliver Queen. He yeah, got he got a whole list of people that he trying to make amends he to said, I will save this he, city. <laughs> yeah, basically. So I don't, I don't know how he's going to break it to him, bro. That's going to be... He's not Ooh. going to. He's not going to. The yeah, old man's going to figure it out somehow. He's going to put two Damn. and two together. That's all. Um, 
in my opinion, I think uh, I think it's a pretty cool show. I do like how they they're getting into the therapy aspect. I think uh, that's a really really important topic to to really hit right now. Um, I particularly enjoyed that portion of the show, and I just want to see Anthony Mackie do more shit. I I, I support yes. Anthony Mackie. Anytime I see Anthony Mackie doing anything, I really I really need him to be a bigger part of the MCU going forward into Phase Four and Phase Five. I really need him to to be the people's champion like he's supposed to be. I really hope uh, that this show really shows that he earns the shield and like he feels like he he should have it. Um, I also think it's a little fucked up how my man could fight Thanos and then come home and not get a bank loan. So that's a real that's that's real as Bro, fuck. I was sitting there like, um, yo, the Avengers is a bunch of broke people. Like, yeah, man, it's just yeah, a bunch really of really bro, just a bunch of broke niggas Tony doing Tony stuff. Stark. So Tony yeah, Stark was it. really the only one with some money. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah sure. nobody with no poor. credit that or man nothing. Rich. Yeah. Everyone else poor. Yeah, that's that's kind of rough. Wow. That's kind of rough, man. It's like can... saving people give you money. No. They're not charging yeah, niggas after they save them. I like how yeah, his man. line was. Nick Fury can't even do nothing because he's on the moon. So. <laughs> I like how the bank hey. the, the guy's line was, uh, oh, so, you know, being a hero guess just doesn't pay the bills or whatever. And then Anthony Mackie goes, no, but people are usually inclined to help or, you know, offer. And he goes, well, tough titty. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I just, I thought that that part made me feel so fucking anxious for some reason. I was just like not, like my nerves was just all over the place, you know? So I just. It hit too close. Yeah, it, it felt too real. It felt too real. It's like that time I came outside, thought my car was still parked out there. And next thing you know, it's like, hey, hell no. Like, so yeah, no, that's, uh, that's an anxiety I feel like I feel almost every single day. So. You know, hopefully uh, the therapy tips that they teach in this show, I hope they're they're applicable towards me because uh, therapy is expensive. Uh, you know, sure. spoiler alert. Uh, well, whoever don't want to hear this spoiler, just go ahead and fast forward like a minute or something. I don't know. But spoiler alert, I think they going to have to fight this man for uh, for him to shoot. Mm. Like they going to they going to they going to they're going to some him and Bucky like Falcon and Bucky. They're gonna like want to get the shield back, but mm -hmm. they gonna have to fight him for it. Like they gonna have to put him down for it. Yeah, they're definitely gonna have to fight. Uh, I think his name is a uh, U.S. agent. So, yeah, new yeah. new Captain America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gonna they gonna have to fuck him up. Although personally, yeah. I don't really mind. I don't mind. I can't. I can't. Oh, wait I, I want to see it. I want to see that. I want to see all of it. I want to see a man caught in 4K. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. This shit is about wait to be minute. great. What are you waiting for? I, don't know. I thought I had the sound effect. No, I don't know. Old people need to go. So, That's just what the moral story I, is. I agree. Huh? I agree. <laughs> um, personally, I think Bucky is a racist. Uh, I don't think. Uh, mm. That's why I really don't like him. He just gives me bad vibes. Like, mm, um, mm. every time I see him, I just like. Ugh. I mean, you know what time they come from. Literally, exactly. that was okay. Man, you know, Captain really? America was pissed when he <laughs> he landed in Times Square. And he was like, what do you mean I have to wait in line with the rest of these darkies? For a hot no. dog? Where's the white only line? talking back to a white Boy, man? Bring me my hot dog. On. There's a Negro in the front of the bus? Wait a minute. You can't smoke like he's driving the bus? Oh, my God. What do you mean what you happened? can't abuse women? What? <laughs> Come on. Ah, uh, beat me a woman right now. Oh, my God. It's you been like, 50 years no? since I beat a woman. So. Um, so Wait, do you wear pants? <laughs> like, these are the jokes, chat. Jesus Christ. These are jokes. Of course. Of Go course. ask your grandparents. They know what all, we're talking about. All the time. All the time. All right. And uh, we got two more stories here. Let's go ahead and do Go something like people. Um this one kinda this one kinda hits home. Um David Dobrik is in some uh some hot water. Uh, I'm not familiar I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with David Dobrik, but he is probably yeah. one of the biggest He's a white guy, star. right? Yeah, yeah, he is indeed a white guy. That is true. Um, he Literally. is a very famous white guy. I think he has 18.4 million subscribers. He's actually one of my favorite vloggers. Um, he's actually in some hot water this week uh, because uh -oh. he issued a very shitty apology. Um, I wish I had the video because I remember seeing the video when it came out a few years ago. So allegedly, uh, one of his friends, yeah, I, me and Rencha used to watch all of David Dobrik's videos. Uh, I say allegedly, but I, I feel like these niggas did it. Um, they drug and one of David's friends drugged oh. and raped a girl while they oh. filmed it and uh it was supposed to be part of their vlog content or whatever and now david dobrik what does do fuck? 
Yeah, he does wow. do staged vlogs sometimes. So they got these girls wow. to come over, start drinking and hanging out and stuff. And um, one of the guys, his name is Dirty Dom. Okay, you can already tell he up to no good. Uh, tried to have a, f a what was it? A foursome, a fivesome, Rancho? I think it was a fivesome with yeah. these girls and fuck all of them. So the idea was to get them drunk enough to where they would have sex with Dom. And uh, so one of the girls was talking about she got super fucked up. She blacked out. She couldn't remember. And all of the other girls had to account for the stuff that happened that night. And so uh, one of her friends had said that Dom sexually violated her, penetrated her, and like took all of her clothes off, all this other stuff, while David Dobrik was filming his vlog episode outside of the door. And I'm not saying that this obvious i don't know this feels real this feels like this is something that these white boys would really fucking do uh i really don't think uh these are the best people and honestly like just coming from like previous you know vlog squad members who have talked about how toxic that environment is and how how cult like they do stuff like it's, it's weird like they had another guy on there uh his name was seth he was the only black guy and they made him kiss jason nash not once not twice but three times in three different outfits and he repeatedly yeah. said he was not down for those type of sketches like multiple he just was times not, too. yeah multiple times he was not down for it but they forced Ooh, him to on do it camera anyway. yeah on camera bro in front of like so millions of people could see and so he he just couldn't deal with that shit. He was not down for it. Um, and so now there's this whole sexual assault thing that's going on. Like, for a man to be sexually assaulted by another man in such a way, bro, I just... Honestly... It's prison. Yeah, it's called prison. Or we gotta throw hands, bro. I think after the first time... I'm not I'm not saying it was Seth's fault or anything or anything like that. Because I'm gonna come to his defense for sure. Because I think these white dudes are fucking weird. Um, I'm a huge fan of all of them. But I think these guys are fucking weird. And it's like, it's like having that group of white friends that like to stick bananas in each other's asses when they fall asleep. Or drop I'm dicks sorry, on your wait face. Wait a minute. You know? what? It's like those type of... Yeah, it's like those type of white guys. You know, they just do wild, dumb shit just to do wild, dumb shit. You like you're sleeping cool, in... All, like you're big. sleeping and they want to stick a hot dog in your mouth or some some weird shit so it's like uh nah and these are the type of white boys to do that shit and i'm just they not are. i'm not surprised like i'm really not like it's it's kind of gross it's kind of disgusting so i'm gonna side with my man seth here but with that being said after the first time and that shit happened again bro i gotta fade the whole squad bro i we have to run hands that's it yeah especially man bro every time if that shit were to happen to me and you got me kissing a 45-year-old man, nope, no sir, no sir, I'm going to give you the hands right here on camera. You're not releasing this episode. Oh. That's for sure. Oh, You're not releasing this shit, David. <laughs> we for to throw hands, bro. I promise you. This is not going to go the way you think it that's is. Some, so. That's some sick in that stuff, bro. That is, yeah. yeah that, that's mm. sick. That's just racism undercover. Honestly. I don't know. It's a little bit gay. Like, I feel like It is. That that homoerotic frat boy apply, bullshit, bro. That's, that's, that's they love different. these white dudes love to do that shit. I don't understand it. I really don't get it. But you know, but it whatever. seems like humiliation at, at at that point though too. Yeah, if you're the only black guy in the group, yeah, it feels like you're yeah. a target at that point. Like that's yeah. that's fucked up. I mean, so, it's not because it's not humiliating for the dude that's kissing. No, it is. No, it is. He was the dude. He was the dude kissing. He was the dude that said he was uncomfortable doing it. Yeah, because they told the him. Other dude they told him it was kissing, the, the old nigga. Oh, He's no. doing. Wait, Jason, wait, Jason wait, just does that shit. He sucks David's dick all the time, him. bro. It's just whatever. Like, yeah. Nah, so. this nigga's been in his rodeo before. He's used to doing that, kissing yeah. people without sin. Listen, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. It's like some of these rappers, right? And they're making millions of dollars, and they got all these yes men around them, bro. They got all these dudes that'll be mm. like, yo. Yeah, that's hot. But that's the you know yeah, that's the nah, sound or whatever. Sexually like, assault her while she's drunk. Yeah, she yeah, get straight. that bitch drunk and then fuck her. Like you know what I mean? Like it's no. just it's weird. It's it's really fucking weird. It's honestly the the strangest shit I've I don't know. But that that gets also gets into the conversation we talked about almost every week. Is somebody with the in the Smash community or somebody some YouTuber is some famous YouTuber is getting busted for uh, fucking a child or something like that? Like that shit is just. Mm -hmm. It's just weird, man. It's just fucking weird. I I will never fucking understand yeah. it. I don't want to understand it. Castrate these people, throw them in the ground. Like, let's be done with it. Shit's fucking agree. weird. So, um, but 
anyway, uh, that's going to be, that's pretty much all I have for the show, net, uh, show notes for this week. So, uh, let me see. Do we have anything else? Um, not that I can see. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. We talked about that. We talked about that. Anybody else got anything to add before we get out of here? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah fa- Each of fathers, them. uh, raise your kid, raise your sons not to grab titty on stream. I agree. Or, 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 you know. Or at all, get, really, without yeah, asking or first. At all. Yeah, or get girls drunk and try to fuck them. That's kind of, yeah. that's kind of weird. Unless she it says she's down to do that, but then it's like, I don't know. That's weird. I feel like mom, that's ask her scenario. what she doesn't want done to her, and then just do that. I mean, maybe don't lead with that. Maybe you know. Your mom does not want to be unconsensually fucked. That is something that she will be that's like. That's literally all you have to say, Rancho. Don't be like, "Hey, mom, what are you into?" He's, <laughs> no, he's right, he's but he's your mom doesn't want that. Wrong he's trying. In several ways. He's yeah, trying. He, there's a reach going on here that I am not comfortable with, sir. Mm 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 mm. What me a deacon? I, with you, in gen- motherfucker. In, in general, in general, I feel like this. Uh, it's just a lot going on right now. I think. Uh, yeah, they you know, they they lost me, bro. Yeah, yeah. We need to find a map and get back to back to where yeah. we're going anyway. I, so yeah, yeah reaching that door back real quick. I'm sure yeah, there's one on there. that one. <laughs> but if nobody else has anything to add, uh, anything they want to jump in on, uh, that's pretty much gonna complete this podcast for this week. Thank you I guys for listening. Oh, you got something? To- oh no. Uh-oh. Yeah, and parents, Uh-oh. beat your kids. It builds character. Thank you. Thank you. And bullies, make sure to bully them kids. Okay, maybe not that one. Yeah, not that one. No, we we gonna leave that in there, Plank. Stop yeah, go ahead and shut Plank my, Plank mic off too. Yeah, yeah, yeah turn that's his mic good, off too. That's a good point. Um, so yeah. anyway, we want to thank you guys for listening to this week's podcast. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow. Uh, all that good stuff. If you're listening to the audio version on iTunes, make sure to rate it five stars. It greatly, greatly helps us out. Um, if you're listening on Spotify, make sure to subscribe to the playlist, man. Take take a peep, listening to your boys every single week. Uh, we do this, what, Monday nights, 7 p.m. Yes. Pacific, uh, yes, 10, percent, 10 p.m. Eastern time. I'm trying to remember everything I'm supposed to do. Yep. Um, yes, if sir. you want to follow any of us, all of, everyone's information will be down in the description on the preferred platform that you're watching this on or listening to this on. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for listening. We will see you guys next week. Make sure to keep it canon.